Welcome to the funniest Kevin Garnett story. You probably have heard this story before featuring Joe Kim Noah and Kevin Garnett. Garnett's trash talk to Joe Kim Noah in his rookie season is a story that is well publicized, but you've never heard it quite like this. In this video, we break down the NBA legends that were involved on this day. Kevin Garnett, Joe Kim Noah, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, and some other players who were involved on this day talk about this story and it is hilarious. So, if you enjoy these types of videos, I really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button to support the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy videos just like this one. And all footage and credits are on the screen right now, so be sure to check them out if you want to watch the videos in their entirety. But I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so without further ado, welcome to the funniest Kevin Garnett and Joe Kim Noah story ever. Tell me, you, you talked about how you had the, res mm -hmm. the respect for Tiki, right? Tell me about the first time you played against KG. I talked to uh, Doc Rivers and uh, Rajon Rondo and Big Baby. I think Big Baby and Rajon had actually played against you, uh, either in college or whatever the situation was. And, you know, it was, more of a, it was more of a conversation of what to expect from you. And then when I played you, it was a different experience. You was more talkative. I could tell right away your IQ was different. You had a different vibration. I could see you gathering the rest of the guys. So all the stuff that they was giving me was totally inaccurate. And I know he was yep. talking shit. How, how was, was that? He was talking crazy. I love KG. Take it. <laughs> the best story. You got to tell me about this story, though. Is it true? Wow. They said uh, Jakeem Noah was like a big fan of KG. He said, yo, dog, get off my nuts. <laughs> Imagine that. Nah, he didn't say it like that. He didn't say it like that. He said it a lot harder than that. I was a fan of his, like a mm -hmm. big fan. He used to work out with this guy called Joe Abunasar. He used to work out with Joe Abunasar, and I was like waiting for him all summer. I was working out with him for, for pre-draft. So I was always excited. I was always hoping like KG would walk in the gym and you know, I was I would be able to like work out with him. It's like Kevin, I uh, I had posters <laughs> of you in, when I was growing up. When I was growing up, I used to have his poster in my room. I used to wear his jersey. <laughs> I had KG posters in my wall. I had a fucking KG uh, jersey growing up. So the tr this is the story. This is what happened. Joaquin Noah was he was young and he was hype as hell. Like we're playing the Celtics. I'm on the Bulls. And the truth is, you know, my rookie year, you know, I was, you know, in admiration of this guy. And, and you know, he kind of shut me down. And, and, you know, he was very mean to me my rookie year. <laughs> and I think they're up like 30 points. And I'm in the game like it's, it's like the last seconds, like nobody gives a shit. AG gave him, he kind of backed him. I caught it. Oh I faced him. Oh. I came baseline, I came middle, right, just like this. Back them, turn around, a pump fake, step side, he shot the ball from the baseline. That's the move. That's what happened? That's the move. When that happened, KG? Come back down, it was like ages ago, like when, like 1864 BC, I hit you with that move. Right? <laughs> and it was a it was a move I seen Kev work on a lot. You came back there, we went to that side <laughs> on the fire, you asked me what's up. Joakim Noah said, he's like, big fella, that was, that was, you know, that was a great move. How did you? How did you, I need you to teach me that. <laughs> Real shit. He asked me, he asked me the move I just gave him. What he asked me, which was what move did I show you? Like, what did you want me to do? You want me to stop the game and actually show you what move I did? Like, uh -huh. nigga, figure it out. Get out of here. Fuck, fuck I look like. Fuck I look like, Fuck I look like, man. Get that out of you. Yeah, he's ready to run through a brick wall right now. He's mad. Cool. All right, so tell us your side of that story. I'm going to tell you straight up. First of all, I just don't understand how, I don't think he remembers because I think the story meant a lot more to me than it did to him. Right. You know? So I remember because I had KG posters in my wall. I had a fucking KG uh, jersey growing up. So the tr this is the story. This is what happened. Next time down the floor. We at the free throw line. So we're at the free throw line and uh, KG right here, Noah right here, and I'm right here. So, you know, KG intense, he, he, he right. looking down, he's dripping sweat. You know, like, you know how KG is. <laughs> right. And <laughs> he like, hey, yo, KG, man, you was my favorite player, dog. Joe Kim Noah was like, I, you were my idol growing up. <laughs> I had your poster on my, on my wall. And right, he telling him all this, he breaking it down. And I remember asking him a question about, yo, you like, you gonna, you gonna work out with, with Joe? I was just trying to be cool, like, 
I was just wanted to be, I just wanted to say something to my idol. And he just like looked over and he was like, KG was like, get off my, get off my dick. <laughs> So get off my dick, that's how we <laughs> Wow, bro. <laughs> and then he said, fuck you, Noah. Who, who the fuck are you talking to? Like, who the fuck you think you talking to? And then like, when he said that, I was like, oh shit, like, <laughs> I shouldn't have. And then like, I kind of fell back knowing that I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that. Like not, not during the game, right? you know? And then I didn't say anything. And then when I didn't say anything, I guess he thought I was a fucking, I guess he thought I was pussy or something because he was like, he kept like getting like louder and sh louder. I start, I start, I would talk to myself and then the talking would actually come out of me with like, hell no, <laughs> nigga, trash ass nigga. <laughs> and the next thing I know, I'm like talking you out of using the left hand. Exactly. Hell no, you doing a one step, step back, nigga, that ain't in your, hell no. <laughs> And you oh, gotta yeah, grow yeah, doubt. Yeah, I learned yeah. how to grow doubt. I learned how to grow doubt, and I learned that if a guy has a little bit of doubt in his game, you can grow that. And dude, jump! I look, I look, so I'm right here, like, I'm like, ooh, okay. You <laughs> <laughs> was told that during the game. No, nah, this is yeah, in the game. Somebody at the free throw, free throw line. Yeah, I was at the free throw line. And I'm listening to this, and I'm like. Dog, and I'm like, oh man, he done, you can't talk to KG right now, dog. We yeah, in the middle, we in the middle of the, oh, of the thick. I was a fan of his, like a mm -hmm. big fan. In the art of competition, that's what it is. So, you know, I think that, uh, I think that he understood where we were. I made it very plain and simple where we were in the art of competition. And man, he tried to, he tried to stun on me, like, like at the end of the game, like. Uh, I'm never here to kill someone's, uh, uh, fan appreciation of why you're fans. You know, fans make the game. I really believe that. You know what I'm saying? Fans, I'm, I'm fans of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm fans of sports. I'm fans of other athletes. So, you know, the kill is Bob and all that, you know. Like, I was like, I said something, and he's like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Get you up. Don't talk to me. And then from that, from that moment on, I swear to God, I was like, yo, I'm going at him. So yeah, but in, in all in all, Joe Kim was, uh, he was young energy. He played hard. Uh, I respected him when he played. And uh, he was a force, you know, he made his team better. Every single time we play, we are going at it. It was, it, it changed my career. It changed my career. That moment changed my career because... I said, he's creating a monster here because this is what he's teaching <laughs> this young, how does how he's teaching this young guy how to be, how to respond, how to react. I like to think that, you know, still sharp and still. You know what I'm saying? For real. And if it wasn't gonna be me, it was gonna be somebody. You know what I'm saying? And then I like to think that whatever you took from this, you took and you actually dominated something else or you dealt with something else. And that's what this is. Our interaction and what we had, I had one when I was younger and it shaped me to the, to the competitor and the person I was. And that's what I want to be known for straight up, man. When all this gets stripped down of its, of its purity and you at your bear and you erect and you like, ha, ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So at the end of the day, I want to be labeled something I wanted to be known for a certain style, and I really believe still sharp and still. And then, like, I was, I didn't, I just, I didn't even say much, but after that, he thought, I, I don't know, he, he must have thought I was soft or something like that, but that sh I had to let him know every time we played, like, yo. I remember that. <laughs> every time, there's gonna be a war now, every single time. When, 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 I'm, when I'm competing, just like when you competing, or at least it felt like this, you hit destroy. I'm here to, I'm here to cre like create doubt. That's, that's, that's one of my things. Like I was trying to destroy your will, but never in another, in another stratosphere would I ever thought that you was a fan of mine. So, you know, I, I come today and I say, I apologize for nah. killing that light, my brother. <laughs> nah, Real nah. shit, cause I'm here, cause I take a lot of pride in being a big brother to all the young guys, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, But man. in the form of what we were in competing, that's what it was. It's a time and place for everything. You don't ask someone during the game or during competition to, no, no, that, not not me. You don't ask me anything during competition. I'm not. I can't. You can't focus. Right. Yeah. You know, we're here competing. I'm not well, going to give you anything. He's like learning a behavior that he's being taught. From that that moment on, I learned that there's no love in battle, and you know, this is competition. Like at the end of the day, I'm I'm trying to rip your fucking head off. You're trying to rip my head off. Let's, let's go, like, I'm trying to win just as bad as you're trying to win. I'm not trying to make no friends. 
And you know, that, that moment right there changed everything. You know, I'm telling you from a character standpoint, mm -hmm. I get it, we was, we was, it was on the court, whatever, and it was competition, but from a big bro shit, like, yeah, if I, if I can change, well, I was, I don't want to say this, but yeah, if I could change anything about myself back then, I wouldn't have been so, man, I was so fucking locked in, man, and I'm, 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 I'm trained so different just to get to a point where it was like kill or be killed and it wasn't nothing in between. So when I would, you know, it's what it is, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, when I heard that man fuck with me, I was like, damn, bro was, bro was a fit, bro fuck with me? Like, oh man, I'm like, oh man, I feel, I'm, I'm gonna have to apologize to bro, man. So Waddle wants to know if a certain someone, Joe Kim, is on your Christmas card list. Just would like to know if, if Kevin Garnett will get a Christmas card from you at all this year. Or is he not on the list? Kevin Garnett will not. Not be on the list? <laughs> will not get a Christmas gift from me. No. At all. Do you think he's on many people's Christmas no. card list in the NBA? No. Not well liked. No. I don't I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> I get the feel, you know, what we, happened to him? Yeah, I was going to say because for so long when he was in Minnesota, he gave everyone this the feeling that he was a nice guy. What happened to him? Um, I don't know. Just, just a very mean guy. Really? Like, I mean, she's where is the? There's no love there. There, where is the love? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like none at all. Just, I, just nasty. Yeah. Ugly too. Yeah. <laughs> His, you mean his personality, personality, or visually, just an ugly guy as well. Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah. I remember that was a real important moment for me, and that's what happened. And I, and I'll say, I'll say this too. Right. Well, my mentality is like, yo, fuck, you out here? I'm going you at out his here? neck. Yeah, right. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and being able to talk to somebody that I grew up, you know, really. Uh, you know, admiring on the court, just the way you competed really shaped my game. So, uh, you know, I hear a lot of people like talking about, you know, the moments when we were talking shit, when you were talking shit. And, and you know, that, that moment right there, um, it turned me into an animal on the court. That's what's up. And I want you to know, man, uh, just from growth, gotta go through those hard moments. Got to go through those moments to where it, it does something to you and, you and you're stimulated off of it. It made me stronger. You know, I remember you hitting, shooting that turn around like, silver spoon ass nigga, Facts. you know? And, you know, I used to hear that from everybody. And that was another reason why I had to, you know, go even harder. It was hard. Um, so no that was passes out here. <laughs> no passes. Exactly. Nah, so no pass. Good. Nobody going to give you no pass out in these streets, now. Nah. <laughs> like. You got your game, gotta be A1 on point every night out. Yeah. So it took like the only person, or one of the only people I would assume in the league that you looked up to at that point, and it reminded you that you're not there to look up to anybody anymore. Mm -hmm. He's your peer, so you, exactly. now you just want to dunk on him. Exactly. So, you know, it's dope that we can actually go back to this time, or the times where we played each other, or battled, or whatever you want to call it, and be able to talk about it. So, you know, it's, it's dope to have a platform to be able to bring the guys on here and do just that. You know, I can look back on it now and just be like, I can see, yeah. I can respect, like. Why he did that, like why he was the way he was. was. You know, a warrior, you know, ultimate warrior. And, uh, you know, he got that chip. Nobody really liked competing against this guy. I'm happy we did this. No, real shit, it's needed, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Um, but no, no, at the end of the day, just what you were talking about, you know, don't feel bad about it. No, no, no. at the end of the day, that moment, made me a better fucking player. No and doubt. I, I needed it. Yeah, I mean, thank God he did that because it, for real, I, like it changed me. I was like, all right, you know what? You can't be a fan anymore. Um, I like to call it antics. I like to call it leverage. You know, when you're playing each other, you're studying each other, you're trying to figure each other out, you know? Um, you know, you was no different from that. At all. Like, you can't, none of these guys, like, yo, I had a poster with this dude in my room. And, I, and I'm like, you know what? Now it's a whole different mindset. Mm -hmm. Now it's. You, he, he got what you want. Yeah. You got to go get it. You got to get past these dudes. If you, if you want that shiny thing at the end, you got to get past these dudes. So there's no more trying to be cool or I'm a fan or none of that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please help me out by hitting that like button. Let me know down below what you thought about this video in the comment section. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and 
Here are two new videos I think that you will also enjoy, so be sure to check them out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.